Hi and welcome to another fortnightly tarot reading for all our viewers. I'm back, Nilakshi here with Rashmi, the tarot expert, the crystal expert and today we are going to tell you what is in store for all your sun signs in this fortnight. So without wasting any time, let's begin with Aries. Okay, so Nilakshi, I've already done my divination, taken out my cards for all the sun signs from those piles there. And now we can begin. But I do want to tell the viewers that this is a very generic uh, reading because there are multitudes of one particular sign. Right. So it will resonate, some things will resonate with somebody, some may not. Right. So just take the ones, the advice the, of the ones that is resonating with you and discount the rest. Yes. Yeah. And don't take them too seriously, I always say. Yes. <laughs> Keep it light. Yes, yeah. it's just to have a little bit of positive guidance so you do not have to stress yourself out. And in case you want to book a personal reading with Rashmi, you can always DM us on the ID and WhatsApp us on the number that is given below and we will get back to you with a suitable time slot. So let's begin. So Aries, there's a lot of first cards, there's a lot of struggle on the money front. Struggle in the sense that you're juggling your funds. So not struggle really. You're juggling your funds, the money is coming, but there are a lot of expenditures to be met with. So uh, you're doing pretty fine because you're managing. Also one card says, uh, which is the card of judgment. So also this means uh, what goes around comes around. Mm -hmm. Time of retribution. So whatever you've done, whatever good seeds you've shown in the past are now showing result. So you've done, we all have good karmas and bad karmas. So your good deeds are now showing up as a blessing to you. So uh, these are good cards all in all, but money please look after and try and expend the least amount and keep some for that rainy day. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. Good advice. Yeah. And uh, so you, uh, what you should do is you should meditate, meditate a lot as much as you can with a white light. So that will calm your nerves. It will make you peaceful and calm. Wonderful. Rest all is fine with you Aries. Great. So Aries, you can also check out a few videos of meditation on this channel that you'll find very useful for yourself. Now let's go on with Taurus. Taurus. Yeah. So Taurians, uh, one of your uh, ventures which met with a slag, I mean which slagged down or which had, you know, which was not moving forward, that is going to come to fruition now. So this is a very positive thing to look up to. So those of you, especially in the business, who are not moving forward with a particular thing. So this week, uh, this fortnight rather, is going to be very good for them. Now, uh, people who are studying, who are honing their skills, or uh, they are you know, delving deeper into knowledge of their particular field, are going to do very well. They are really going to shine this, this fortnight. Right, but one card says that you get you're a little impatient, you know, you want results much too quickly, mm -hmm. so uh, that can get you a little angry or frustrated. So, to overcome that frustration and anger, wear a Rudraksh. Okay, so this card here says wear a, a Rudraksh in a black thread. Okay. Now, if you don't have a Rudraksh bead, you can simply wear a black thread okay. on, your, on your left hand. On your left hand, yeah. and any number of knots that one should have for that? Not particularly. Now, if you are looking out for money, then five. Okay. So, so that I will be discussing in my spell work when we do okay. spell work. So, five is for money, six is for love. Mm -hmm. So, it depends on what you want to do or what you want to achieve. Right. Which area of your life you want to achieve something. Okay. So, that many knots you tie. Okay. So three is just for general good luck. Okay, right. and since you mentioned Rudraksh, can I just ask if uh, the other viewers can also uh, wear Rudraksh because it's a very auspicious. Yes, why not? Yeah. Rudraksh is very good and it's a very energizing. Uh, it, it energizes you, it gets, makes you more spiritual. Rudraksh is connected to Shivji as we know. Right. You know, so uh, that too, but in a black thread when you wear it, it can even calm you down, the other way around. Okay. So if, if you're going through a period of when you are impatient and frustrated, you must wear a Rudraksh. Okay, and one more question, like there are many many types of Rudraksh, uh, what Ek Mukhi, Do Mukhi and also on, you know, the yeah. amount of lines that are there. Yeah. So which one are you suggesting for Tori? So those, it is very very um, impossible to get a Ek Mukhi or a Do Mukhi, those are very rare. So the normal Rudraksh, 
what I suggest is a normal rotor. Okay, whichever you find in a yeah. store easily. Yeah. So now so let's, let's move to Gemini. Gemini. Yeah. Gemini. So, uh, oh god, the same card for them. So, don't let anger get the better of you. No. This is the first card. So, similar to the earlier sign, that uh, don't uh, be a little tolerant. Okay. And try and delegate. Mm -hmm. What you're doing is you're taking on too much on your own. So, that's why probably you're getting short tempered. Mm -hmm. So, try and delegate, especially people who are working in the workspace. So, uh, I know you want to achieve, but to achieve, you You've got to be tolerant of your subordinates and your colleagues. So try and delegate and try and trust those people. So trust those and try and work in a team. You know, so you do uh, do teamwork mostly. Is that also um, please guard your money, especially uh, you know with people your staff who are working around you. There could be some loss just inadvertently like that. You know, some, somehow this money, money can just vanish. Okay. So you have to look after your money, number one, number two, control your expenditures. And uh, some of you may just break that relationship. You know, you're going, going through a breakup already or some relationship is going to come to an end. But there's a card of a new flame coming into your Could be somebody you know from your past. Okay. <laughs> so for some of you, there is an old flame uh -huh. uh, coming into you. Those are the trickiest ones. Yeah. Now you need to meditate with a green light. Okay. Yeah. So for this sign, uh, you must meditate with green light at least ten minutes every day. And I believe Archangel Raphael is uh, for exactly. that green light. Yeah. So, so that's him. He's the the greatest he uh, healer. Yeah. So you can also invoke Archangel Raphael, all the people who are already doing angel healing, you can think of him and then practice your meditation. Yeah. And for Angel Raphael, you have to think of a green light. So you have to meditate on a green light. Okay, so uh, the next sign was uh, Cancer. Cancer. You're, <laughs> you always remember your sign. <laughs> okay. So uh, Cancer is something very good. You know, something uh, which you've been so passionate about mm -hmm. is going to happen now in this yeah. weekend. Time yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're so passionate about this work uh -huh. or maybe a relationship, maybe a venture you've undertaken uh, because you have ASO wants. So okay. it's like a new beginning, really. Mm -hmm. And very uh, dramatically. Okay. Okay. And uh, you're very passionate about it, it says this card. And your family life is great. Right. And celebrations in the family and feeling comfortable and emotionally you're on a high. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a very good reading. Very fact. good. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, a delay on the money front. So mm -hmm. money was there in your earlier fortnight, but this fortnight also is going to be there, but it's going to be delayed a little. Right. So you're working hard towards it. and. You will achieve great what great you want for me. So also uh, be goal oriented, which you are being. So, um, but to achieve even more because you are an achiever and uh, you know you want to do many things at the same time. Uh, keep a pyramid crystal or any regular crystal in your east. Try and keep as many crystals you can get hold of or one big solid one. Mm -hmm. In your east direction, okay. that helps you achieve Great. your and it makes your wishes also come true. Uh, clear quartz or amethyst. It could be clear quartz, quartz or any other quartz. So, like this is not a clear quartz. So, mm -hmm. if you keep a rock like this mm -hmm. on your uh, that would be good east direction, that would be very good. Okay, and uh, you all can also watch the video Rashmi did on crystals, which has much of uh, this useful information of which crystal you can use for your well being. Okay, so we get on to uh, Leo. Leo. So, uh, Leo's the money is still in short supply, so you have to be very, very careful about how you spend your money. I think so far, in the signs that we've done. Mm -hmm. uh, there's either blockage of money or money coming, but surely coming, but it's a little delay. Yeah. So, uh, but you have the magician card. Mm -hmm. So you're working your magic even in the home front and your work front. Mm -hmm. So uh, be careful. Like in my spell work, they say, be careful of what you want. See, because you're the magician, you can manifest. Right. But be very careful of what you're trying to manifest. Right. It may not be the right thing right for you. Thing for you. But only when you are sure that this is right for you. So go with your gut feeling. 
Mm. And then manifest that. Great. Because you have the magician card, you can do wonders. Great. Good advice here. So uh, also it says in the south direction, you must uh, keep it clutter free, right? And also uh, create a very neat and clean and uh, you know, awakened, not awakened, uh, uh, you know, a sparse environment in the sense, keep it clutter free. Active and... Uh, no, to keep it clutter free so that more positive chi can come in. So space, creating yeah, more space. Yeah, creating more space. Okay. So uh, try and keep your environment clutter free. So more positive yang energy can come okay so now this uh, brings me to a question usually in our feng shui you know we have the system where south is the most heavy side uh, am i right now uh, that is why like that is why i say keep it the south keep it cut clutter so so people who are uh, in this sun sign should really make sure that they have removed a lot of heavy things from yes, this side exactly, exactly. Okay. Yeah. okay so that so that fresh energy and vibrant energy comes into your home, your workspace, wherever you're sitting. Mm -hmm. So you take a compass, actually all of us on our mobiles have compasses right, these days. Right. So see the south direction and please keep that kind of thing. Or if important. you cannot move your heavy furniture, at least you can make sure it is placed in a more organized manner and in a more positive space. At least that can be done. Great space. space yeah. So the next sign that we're doing is uh, Virgo. Virgo. So what was good news coming your way? In fact, communication. Maybe there wasn't a communication. Uh, there was a dead end or a uh, you know a stasis kind of in a particular project, which was not moving forward. So there um, is going to move forward. Secondly, from overseas, something good is coming. So people who are overseas and you know are into trade, so uh, they could be getting good news. They could be getting new business. So this is a beautiful card actually, Eight of Wands. So. Uh, look forward to that and prepare for that but you are a little stressed and you're a little worried and overthinking you have an overactive mind these days so again i would say do some deep breathing do some meditation take some time out for yourself mm -hmm. yeah. very very important so another card says yeah maybe that's why you are stressed that you're thinking too many things i said it's a mental thing mm -hmm. it, it, it's not a you know heartbreak or something to do with a relationship but it's something about you know, thinking too many things in your own front probably mm -hmm. so uh, you know you counting your chickens before they hatch kind of okay. you thinking too many things mm -hmm. and this will happen and that will happen living too much in the future yeah and like and also planning too many things so live in the present like you said be in the moment and everything is going to fall into place great Right. What you can do is you can say a chant, Om Maha Ganpate Namaha. This is a beautiful, very auspicious chant. This will help you, it will calm you also a bit and you'll stop thinking too much. Yeah, and Ganpate Ji always puts things into place and it's a very auspicious mantra. Auspicious mantra, yeah. It helps you remove obstacles also. So, yeah. yeah. So, um, the next sign? Uh, Libra. My sign. Yes. Okay, so Librans are being too authoritative. Sometimes when you're too authoritative, now see this is the card of ruling the roost, but this is the queen of swords. Now this has come reverse. So this means you're being too authoritative and you're trying to control. Do not control that situation. Mm -hmm. I know maybe you're probably going through certain trying time in your personal life or maybe your work front, but you're being too controlling. Let go. The, the card says if you let go, probably things will get better. Right. So just leave it and let things take it their own course. There is abundance, a lot of abundance, money is there, but it is coming again slowly. So I think this fortnight for almost everybody, every sun sign, every sun sign money is money coming, is slow. but it's a little blocked. So the more you give Librans, the more you want to get. Simple acts of helping others, I mean, even like doing one good deed a day. Yeah, random yes. acts of kindness. Exactly. Yeah. So one good deed a day is going to take you very far and you'll be happier in the longer run. Great. So let's see what's there for Scorpios. Scorpios, something is getting out of balance. Maybe too much of hectic work 
and too much activity on the work front is uh, making you neglect your home front or neglect your social circle or your friends. So uh, try and do a little bit of a balancing act this fortnight. Otherwise, you know, it says too much of work uh, makes Jack a dull boy. What is that? Uh, all work, no play, play makes exactly. yeah. So that's the situation that's going to happen if you keep working, working, working. You're a worker, alcoholic. This this uh, fortnight, it's good because you're making your uh, you meeting your uh, targets. But you must also play. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why things are out of balance a bit. And why you are like this is because of the competitive air around you. So there's a lot of competition there. People who are uh, competing for something will do well, but there's a lot of stress. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm trying to say. But try and uh, go out a bit, balance the time, your time with your family, with your friends, mm -hmm. so that uh, it doesn't become too dull for you. Right. And, and for Scorpio, for, because of the the situation that they're in, the Northwest put some plants. Very simple. In the northwest, put plants. Okay. That will help them overcome this very uh, not stressful time, I would say, but too much of work. How many? So basically, a little grounding is required by yeah. scorpions, and they can also focus on their uh, root chakra and yeah. connect with their environment more, which will help them calm their mind because all the insecurity stems up from this sort of. Environment. That's why I said in the northwest direction, mm -hmm. put some plants. That's right. very good for grounding. Very good. Okay. Now so now we want to Sagittarius. Yeah, Sagittarius. A lot of money coming, so it's not blocked for Sagittarius. It's the first good. sign <laughs> money is coming their way. In fact, through their hard work. So, uh, in fact, in not just from one source, two or maybe three sources. Okay. So that's why I said that's enough, plenty, plenty. But again, do some wise investments, wise expenditures. Yeah. That's the card that says that. One relationship didn't work out. Yeah. Could be a partner or uh, could be in even in your work front. So uh, leave it be for the for the present and something will come about because the next card this is justice card. So uh, it will be in your favor. So leave it for the moment. You never know there could be a reconciliation. That's what I'm trying to say. And um, again, do some walking. Do so for everybody, I think in this time, uh, these times, because we are so cloistered in our home uh, environment, it's very important to exercise. It's very important to uh, meditate. Mm -hmm. It's important to hear soft music to again calm your nerves because we're all going through a lot of tension because of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. right. So let's go to the next sign. Is Capricorn? Capricorn. Capricorn. You're doing things in a very structured manner. Nothing out of the box. So try and do something out of the box. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it becomes very mundane, a very mundane activity. Though you are achieving what you want, you're meeting your targets, but it's all in that structured environment. So try and innovate a bit, I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. Try and revamp your work, your business. Revamp even maybe your home. Okay. You know, so that the energy in your home is also changed a bit. Right. Yeah. That's very important for you. And uh, you yourself are feeling a little low energy levels because maybe uh, activity, work at home, a lot of work at home. So uh, try and uh, eat some, uh, you know, fresh things, vegetable, fruit, bioenergy foods, mm -hmm. you know, to pick me up kind raise of energy yeah, to raise your energy levels. And there could be a, a new beginning of sorts. So one phase ending and a new one beginning for you all. Great. So it's good. It's 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 a good reading. Yeah. And now let's go on to Aquarius. Aquarius, yes. Aquarius, you are, guys are sailing in two boats. Either that in a relationship or maybe you're working on two things. Mm -hmm. uh, so th there are two projects which are running simultaneously. Two businesses or uh, maybe even two home, home fronts. Okay. So, um, but it's it, it's come straight up. So this card is good. So the going is good. But you maybe made a scapegoat out of nothing, you know, maybe in your work front, you have to take on a blame or, you know, like I said, you'll be made a scapegoat mm -hmm. this fortnight and 
but you are happy with that situation too. So that's a beautiful card because it's a hangman. It says even though uh, you know you have to take on the blame uh, on yourself, you are quite happy about it and you are going on with your work. So in the longer run it's going to help you. So what you are doing is good. Great. Okay. Nice. So uh, what you can do for you, Om Namah Shivaya, he is the great protector. Mm -hmm. yeah, so he is like the, the greatest guardian angel. So if you chant to him, in fact when I am sitting free and doing nothing, even like this so when we are talking and sometimes I just switch off, in my mind Om Namah Shivaya is going on because I have been saying this mantra for years. Uh -huh. So he is my lord. So, what you do this fortnight, you must say Om Namah Shivaya. Shivaya. Now let's come to the Pisces. last sign, the Pisces. Pisces. It's time for new beginnings. Wonderful. Yeah. So uh, this card says Southwest because it's time for new beginnings. The Southwest of your home needs to be energized. Okay. And there are many ways of energizing your uh, directions for good luck, prosperity, especially in a time of change. And especially in a time of new beginning, it, uh, there are different ways you can energize. So, uh, so southwest for the Pisces, you should put a water body. You know, a water body which is circulating water. You know, so a fountain, maybe like a fountain, water fountain which uh, circulates the water. Or you can put an aquarium that would be beautiful. You know, with fish. And fish is in any case very auspicious. Brings in a lot of love and energy and good fortune. Mm -hmm. Five fish, or seven fish, or nine fish. Do like that according to function, or you could just put an amethyst crystal on your southwest. Now, uh, you know, like a crystal bowl like this. Okay. Now, uh, this is not amethyst, but uh, amethyst is a purple color crystal. But if you uh, do not have uh, amethyst, then just any crystals or even pebbles or a plant in your okay. south southwest corner. So uh, another uh, another card says that something from overseas, a connection, maybe a relationship. That was long distance. Okay. That is again coming reviving. about. Yeah, it's reviving. So that's a good card. And there's some celebration also. So not only is there a change in your finances, in your work, and uh, for, you know, that's why I told you to energize the Southwest corner. So uh, there is also good news and there's a celebration could be uh, some of you who are not married are taking the next step, who are engaged, getting married, and uh, those of you in a new relationship could be getting onto the you know, in an engagement. Okay. So celebration. So it's all in all a good fun fortnight. Wonderful. So that's all for you, Pisces. Okay. So that would be all for all the sun signs. I hope uh, you guys can benefit from this fortnightly reading. In case you want to book a personal session with Rashmi, you can contact us or DM us on the number and Instagram ID below. I request you all please like this video, share it and definitely subscribe to us for more loving, amazing content that can keep you in a wonderful state. So that is all from us. Have a great time. Namaste. Namaste.